in my six years being a nomad, I've had four trailers and lived in the back of my pickup truck. This was my first pop-up. Um, I redid it. Well, remodeled the inside. Put a new floor in. Covered the propane tank. We put a new floor in at a campground, actually. My daughter and I, during a severe windstorm. And I made a bunch of pillows, which the new owner insisted on keeping. I really love them, but I kept my chandelier. And my daughter and I were camp hosts, and she had some prom dresses she didn't want, so I made some pillows for her side of the camper. And that green wasn't this bright. I ended up covering the cushions with a drop cloth. This was the second one I bought, um, and I flipped that quick. Paid 200 sold it for 9 and I sold the first one, too, to help my daughter go to college. And then I moved into the back of my pickup truck, and then I went off to um, Jersey and upstate New York for the winter. And this is my daughter Daisy helping me prep the inside of it. I picked up that cap for $50 off of um, Craigslist and I painted it this eggplant purpley color. This was the first setup with a little cabinet there with drawers. When camping in it, I had to turn on the stove and heat some water to get the ice off the inside of the windows. It was freezing up there. Did a bohemian type theme in it. I love the material on those curtains I made. I had an air conditioner underneath the bed, and I closed the window and had the door open to use it. And I was still able to put the uh, kayaks in the back of the truck. And here's a picture of me um, heading off to Jersey and New York. And the dogs uh, camping. And then I moved back to Colorado, and I picked up this um, 74... Roadrunner. I loved this trailer. I thought I'd have her forever, but I was up in um, Uray, Colorado, and we had several feet of snow, and she had about a foot of snow on the scene, on the roof, and we had some damage, and that was beyond my skill set. This took me three days to get all that gunk off. I thought it was rust and ended up just being food. And look, I was so proud of myself. Look how nice that looks. I painted all the hardware silver. I did a lot of work in this trailer. That's contact paper I picked up from Walmart. Um, if it didn't, there's parts of it like didn't stick, like the corners or the edges. I just use um, Eileen's uh, craft glue, and it held up for quite a while. I went all over the place in this trail. I went up to Wyoming. There was a camp post up there. I painted all the cabinets white. And this was the side, the driver's side. I put a shelf over the window. And uh, the bed in the back, the, all the cushions were redone with this black vinyl when I bought it. And it was just so uncomfortable to sit on. So I ended up covering the dinette uh, side where I sat with some blankets. You can see that right here. I ended up selling her after the damage to the ceiling. Um, she's now an Airbnb in Colorado. I'm so glad that she doesn't have to be on the road anymore. This is one of the pictures with the snow on it. My boss had been taking care of it and Nick the vent. That's how water got in. And this was the last pop-up that I bought. Um, I redid this one, too. This one was a lot of fun. I put a new floor in and painted the cabinets white in this one as well. And painted the hardware silver. I did this most of the work here in Virginia at my son's house last year. I recovered the cushions um, with a drop cloth. I painted the table black, which I never did that before. And I used Reflectix, and all the windows would pop up. That's so important. And on the ceiling here, over the bunk, bunk end, which kept it so much cooler. And I sold this one. Um, I think I paid 16 for it, and sold it for 24 And this one, I actually painted the outside box with um, just a quart of automotive paint. And I just love doing it. I think if I do this again, I'm going to definitely paint the box. And I put some decals on it. The lady who bought it just absolutely loved it. And the $2,400 I got for this trailer, I went and bought my cargo trailer. This was only used once. It actually came from a, a town half mile where I used to live in New York. And I picked it up in North Carolina. And it was garage kept, and now it's a mess. I mean, she's filthy and scratched up. But my son helped me um, with most of the build here. That's the first window we put in. Put an RV lock on, which failed me in Santa Fe, New Mexico. It was an eight-hour ordeal. There's a video about that. And I picked up these bottom cabinets. Um, they're actually top cabinets, but I got them free off of Facebook Marketplace when I was in Maryland. 
And I bought the upper cabinets from Lowe's. Those were $50 a piece. And the countertop, that's from Lowe's too. I had fun doing this. I, I'm itching to do another build, but I don't have the place to do it at. I used beadboard for the walls and one inch um, foam board for insulation on the ceiling, part of the floor, and all the walls. Taped everything up, put a Dometic Fantastic fan in, and I used corrugated tin that I used black chalk paint. I wiped it on with a rag and then wiped it off because I still wanted to see some of the silver. And then put a wax on it and it's held up great. I like it that it gives it a little dark feeling in here. And then when I was in Texas at a friend's house last year for, no, two years ago for almost two years. For Thanksgiving, my daughter and I put that window in in the kitchen. It's a little crooked, but the only thing straight in here is me. And there's a wall mural I had that I put on the door. And here's Gideon's window seat, which is now is bigger. It goes all the length underneath my TV, too. I knew that was a plus to have for him. And that's a room divider screen I used for the cat box. And some Dollar General curtains. I definitely put curtains on the door because you lose a lot of heat and air through that door. And here's the kitchen kind of done. And the side. I have a chair I push under there, too. And the back bed. And this is me down in Vegas for the first time at Circus Circus Campground. It was a really nice campground. Nice bathrooms. And everybody asks me always, how come I never show myself on camera? I just, I'm not comfortable doing it. But I, So I decided to put some pictures up of me and the dogs and the cat. Here's Violet when she still had ears camping up in Colorado. Elliot and Violet were camp house in Louisiana here. Elliot saying, please, I'm not ready to get up yet. In this picture of Viola, I remember this. It was cold that morning. She was not ready to get out of bed. And here are the dogs in Jersey at the beach, which is one of Elliot's favorite places. And you all know Gideon. He's looking out the window. And that was camping at Pasa Kingdom State Park in Graham, Texas. That was in Pahrump, Nevada, and that was up in Wyoming. Here's little Violet here at my friend Dee's house. It was windy and cold that morning. Elliot up in Colorado at Bear Creek Campground. Violet here with just, well, one good ear still. Elliot, New York. And here's a couple pictures of me. Yeah, I'm just not comfortable being on camera, but I guess I'm going to give it a try. It's me too. And I had pretty hair. This is me and Elliot on my friend's razor up in Silverton, Colorado. That was a great day. Here's me and Bob Wells and Lex from Lex and Riot. He did a tour of my trailer. And this is me. I camped with my basic journey, Chantel, in Lake Havasu.